Hey man, say man, it's your boy JCSJ. Welcome back to the channel. God bless. Thank you for rocking with your boy. So WWE 2K24 has been a lot of fun. And please don't take that as me pretending like this game does not have its issues. Is it perfect or even the best in the series? No, no. But what I can say is that it definitely feels like a step in the right direction. I mean, come on, bro. This game actually got me into my faction. Speaking of which, if you happen to have a little time on your hand, go check out my latest video where I actually go in depth talking about my faction as well as my feelings on this year's showcase. But today I want to switch things up a little bit, man, and kind of take a different approach to content creation. So in this one, we're going to do some in-depth match analysis, show some highlights and lowlights, and just go over some personal likes and dislikes that I've ran across. So hopefully y'all rock with it, man. If y'all do, please let me know down in the comments, run up the likes, whatever you got to do, man. But anyway, without further ado, WGC, let's work. So the first match we're going to take a look at comes from my faction. One of the first things I do want to point out, and this is just a general assessment across all game modes. When it comes to match pacing and tone, it is just so easy to see how much chain wrestling and quick grapples are missed in this series. And the more you play, the more this will become more evident. So when these two features make their inevitable return, and no, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to speak it into existence. I'm calling it right now. But if and when they do, I think it is going to be a noticeable difference in just how much deeper the gameplay feels. The combo feature is still pretty prevalent in this game as it ties to a bunch of other features. But for those that know me know I have a hate-hate relationship with the combo feature. Basically, I hate the way they look. A majority of them are robotic and stiff. But more importantly, I hate how combo-centric the game is. In my opinion, this is a feature that has no business being at the forefront of gameplay. In its current state, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, and it makes things feel way too arcadey. And I know there are going to be some people that are just going to be like, just turn down the sliders. Well, that doesn't really fix the problem. Because like I said earlier, the feature affects other aspects of gameplay. So turning it off or turning it down wouldn't really do anything. That would be like the equivalent of you telling somebody my brakes are squeaking and then they'd be like, oh, well, just turn up your radio so you won't hear it. To be clear, I don't hate the idea of combos. I'm just not a fan of 2K's take on the feature. It's a little bit too intrusive on the rest of the gameplay. Ironically enough, the next thing I want to talk about in this breakdown is a feature that is heavily influenced by the combo system. That being the breaker feature. To be honest, I'm not really hot or cold on this feature. Although if I had to make a choice, I would probably rather leave it than take it. And the simple reason being is that it is not a skill based feature. Truth be told, if we're going to have a multi button reversal system, I would much rather it be from the old SmackDown games. One button to reverse strikes and one button to reverse grapples. I actually came up with a more in-depth reversal system concept. And you guys rock with that video pretty tough. For those who may not have seen it, I'll go ahead and link that at the end of this video. But my thing is, if they are going to continue with the breaker system, then I'm going to need them to put a little bit more seasoning on it. I would like to see them throw in more style-based counter grapples and strikes. Maybe some evasive maneuvers, throw in some arm and leg catches, and maybe even some submission gameplay. I would love to see it seamlessly fit into a wrestling landscape as opposed to something that just feels like they ripped it straight out of Killer Instinct. Instant recovery is one of those features that I feel like is not for everybody. Like, not everybody should be able to perform this. Personally, I would like to see this one return to payback status and get the resiliency treatment. Make it feel more special and give it to guys that are known for that ability. You know, guys like Taker, Kane, Bray Wyatt. I don't know what made 2K decide to demote this to a basic feature, but put some respect on it, man. I don't want to see Eric Bischoff and Drew Gulak no selling my finishers. At least if they made it a payback, we'd have the option to be able to pick and choose who we wanted to have it. As opposed to the whole slider thing. Because the slider method only band-aids the issue and only works in a player versus CPU situation. Comment down below, man. Let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like everybody should have this ability? Do you feel like the fact that everybody does have this ability, does it degrade it in any way or kind of make it feel less special? 
The upgrades made to the Irish Whip is just one of the standout quality of life improvements that they made this year. I love the idea of being able to Irish Whip opponents from a kneeling position, but even more so being able to have a reversal for the Irish Whip. So not only some much needed improvements, but some much appreciated ones as well. A few things I would have loved to have seen with the Irish Whip, and hopefully they'll implement these in the future, is more interactivity with the environment, especially in terms of the strong Irish Whip. Like I would love to see a scenario where the strong Irish Whip would actually send someone crashing through a table that's been set up in the corner. A strong Irish Whip towards the announce table should send your opponent flying across the table and into the announcer's chairs. We've actually seen this spot happen quite a few times on live television. A strong Irish Whip into the steel step should actually dislodge the top half of the steps and allowing you to be able to pick it up and use it as a weapon. I would also like the ability to strong Irish Whip someone into the barricade and maybe send them over into the crowd area. I think we could actually do this in games past. I'm not sure why they took it out, but I would love to see that come back. The possum feature is easily one of the most underrated and has the potential to be so much more. I would love to see 2K level this one up. For one, this should be available from way more positions. Having it available from only the grounded position is really shortchanging this feature. Once upon a time, we were able to actually use it in the corner. I don't know what happened with that, but they really need to consider bringing that back. At least give us the corner and the kneeling position along with the grounded. On top of this, I would like to see some new moves as well. The game already provides a mix of possum attacks and possum pins, but why not give us possum submissions? Or better yet, possum finishers. I think this would go absolutely crazy. Imagine being able to pull off Taker's possum choke slam from back in the defeat the streak days. Or if submission is more your forte, maybe being able to pull off a possum angle lock. And if they did expand the feature to different positions, imagine being able to do like a possum RKO from the kneeling position. This is what I mean when I say this feature has so much potential. But it's just up for 2K to realize it. I would love to see what they could do, man, if they actually decided to look into this feature and actually just cook. I would also love to see them put a little more effort into diving reversals, mainly the standing ones. A lot of the times the animations for these look kind of glitchy and warpy. It's almost like it's missing frames or something. Not to mention the reversal variety is just not there. I would love to see more counter strikes and catch reversals. Like I said, just to kind of mix things up so we won't be getting the same couple of reversals every time. A handful of new catch finishers would be appreciated as well. Just throwing that out there. Okay, what is this goofy little stance everybody does when they're about to do a top rope finisher? It looks crazy awkward, man. I'm just standing there, I guess, like waiting on his opponent to get up. It's not a big deal. It just looks weird. And this is just another example. While I feel like the instant recovery is not for everybody, this man just got hit with a whole finisher and he just popped back up like he's the undertaker or something. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I love the concept of this feature, but man, at least make it make sense. Comebacks are another dope feature and one that legit makes this game feel like a wrestling game. I would love to see this feature get some love, man. We've been pretty much stuck with the same comebacks for the past couple years now. Give us some new ones. Give us some original ones. Give us some that have more grapples than strikes. Like for Brock Lesnar, or maybe I shouldn't say that name. Lock Bresner just make his comeback like three straight release German suplexes. No strikes, no bread, no water, just meat. But the bottom line here is, man, just give us some more creativity. I would go so far as to say I would even love to see a creator comeback feature. Give us two or three sequences where we can kind of put together a comeback, mix it up with strikes and grapples, and just let us cook, man. But that's pretty much all the standouts in this match as we see your boy Melo hitting the first 48 and then immediately following it up with the nothing but net, proving that once again, Melo don't miss. I truly hope y'all enjoyed this match breakdown. If you did, man, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part of this match breakdown. And if you saw something that maybe I didn't, man, feel free to let it be known. But anyway, man, love y'all. Thanks for watching. Remember to always try to be a blessing to someone because you never know who might need it. It's your boy JCSJ. Don't forget the JCS because Jesus Christ saves.